Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Christian Productions. Got another unboxing for you guys. This time a super tiny package this time compared to my last one. Now this one's from a company you guys might have heard of them if you guys are aware of Rob Scallon. It's called Purple Plectrum slash Plextrum. That's kind of either way they go by. Uh, it says Plextrum here, but you can type in Purple Plectrum and take you to the Purple Plectrum website. For those of you who know Purple Plectrums, you guys obviously kind of know what I'm looking for. So this is a pick unboxing. So the types of picks that I'm used to playing, I, I, I like playing with pretty thick picks. Uh, these are other picks I use, one of the picks I mostly use, these are the flow picks from Dunlop. Um, these are the three millimeter, so quite thick picks compared to normal standards. That's one there, so that's three mil. I also got these um, 4.2 millimeter picks. Uh, this comes in a pack of two. Um, it's four millimeter there, so quite a little bit thicker. I also got these other four millimeter picks from Gravity, which I've been playing around with. So three and four mil is kind of my comfort zone right now. But I did want to upgrade to something stupid ridiculous, like stupid thick. Um, I, I, I was gonna buy some five millimeter picks from Dunlop, but I was like, that's only about a millimeter bigger, or give or take, to what other picks I'm using. But I'm like, I want to go ridiculous. I want to go over the top. So. I was like, what, what pick companies go over the top with thick, thick, like, thick, uh, thick, thicknesses is what I'm looking for. And the only one that's come, that, that I'm aware of is Purple Plectrum. Well, the, the, I guess there's also, um, oh, what's the company name? Uh, Winspear, I guess they use picks too, but nothing like these guys. Oh, and also Hoofschmied, those are the three companies. I guess it was like Hoofschmied. Uh, Purple Plectrum and uh, Windspear. Those are the three. All right, so uh, I have no idea that I got the Altex Mix Spade. I think that's what it is, the nine mil in black. So we're here to got it. Let's see what this looks like. I'm not gonna view it. Well, yeah, it says thank you on it. Uh, it says the shop at purpleplectrums.com. Purpleplectrums.com. Facebook.com slash Purple Plectrum and at Plextrum for um, the Instagram. With a cool like, little thing on it. Oh my god! That's insane. That's a lot. I was expecting 9mm to be huge, but oh holy shit! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I feel so nice. Dude. Look at that! So here are the picks I've been using for the past week or so. Here's the purple plectrum. Holy crap, dude! Shit! So I knew it. Nine mil would be a substantial, like substantially bigger, but like it's a bit big. It's about two mil, one or two mil bigger than I was expecting. Wow! Look at that, dude. I don't know if you guys have seen Rob, Rob Scallon's video. I'm so glad that one. If you guys have seen Rob Scallon's video. Um, he said it has a weird velvety texture to it, and I'm like, what the, whatever. You're just, that makes no sense. I, I highly doubt that, but this actually does have that weird velvety kind of texture to it. It's almost like, like peach fuzz, kind of like, you know how, like, when you. For more for guys, but I, um, like you know, when you first start getting facial hair around the age of like 10 or 11, whatever, whenever it kicks in, you kind of get that weird peachy thing feeling. That's exactly what this feels like. Um, also, it just kind of feels like peach, like a peach fuzz, like the ones you get on the peaches, like a legit peaches, so the peach. That's exactly what this feels like. Just cool. So this is the black one, nine mil. It's pretty thick. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this and see what this sounds like. Uh, I'll, I'll just shoot them out against the three mil against this. So let's go. It's fucking crazy. I'm definitely buying more. So firstly, I'm just gonna mess around with the purple plectrum for a bit, just because I want to see what this is like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. All right. So that's just me jamming on the purple plectrum for a little bit. It's a thick pick, yeah. Seriously, huge motherfucker. So I'm released, like I said, I'm released like three and four ish millimeter picks, give or take. That's a huge difference between these two, look. So I am used to picks about this size. So I'm used to picks both kind of like your standard size and I guess your um, XL jazz size picks. So these are the sizes, at least dimension wise. Um, again, these are the three mils I play with. Um, just because that's what I'm comfortable, com most comfortable with. Um, but let's compare them. So apart from the thickness, um, the dimensions are fucking huge. Like, that's at least a quarter of an inch bigger. Both, like, up and down and sideways. Like, length and width. Is that, I'm not sure if that's right, but as you guys can see, there is a huge freaking difference between these two fuckers. It is, it is not just in thickness, not just thickness wise, it is a thick pick, but this is a huge pick in terms of um, dimensions. I mean, I like it because I just I feel like I have a lot more circuits here to grab, grab onto, and like I sometimes hold my picks like I know because most times you're supposed to hold you know with thumb and pointer, but sometimes I go like that, and I feel like that will benefit me a lot whenever I go like that, um, which is awesome. Um, this is, these are just my basic thoughts on this pick. It's a really nice pick. I love the whole velvety, like notepad, like iPad kind of feel to it. Um, as you guys probably heard in the in there when I went to go do a pinch harmonic, that that was a pain in the ass to do, like a huge pain in the ass. And usually I can pull them off pretty easily, but that's just probably because I went from a three mil pick to a nine millimeter pick. So I mean, it I'll probably get it eventually. I'll be able to do pinch harmonics easily. Um, the p playing is really playing is weird with these things. It's because it's a big pick, obviously, so I'm gonna have to adjust with this for a while, play with it for a while, I'll definitely get used to it. Um, but this, for anybody who's curious, like, kind of, about Purple Plectrums, or kind of about this particular pick, this is, they're from the Oltex series, so it's, um, I guess, a cheaper version of their handcrafted stuff, um, because their handcrafted stuff is, like, upwards of, like, $50, $60 for most of their picks. I think it'll range anywhere from like about 50 or 60 to about 110, 115, maybe even 120, depending on the pick and the model you get. Uh, so this is their Altex, which is kind of their this production model pick. I'm not sure the material, but it's a slightly cheaper material. I don't want to say cheap. I don't want to make cheaper sound like it's it's bad. It's not because this is this feels like a great pick as of right now. It feels very sturdy. It doesn't it's not, it doesn't even bend because most even my three mils and four mils they bend just ever so slightly but this doesn't give budge at all which i really like which i love in picks so it's awesome if you guys want to definitely get into or at least try these humongous picks i definitely recommend purple plectrum and their ultex series because the ultex are they're a lot cheaper they're around 20 to 30 dollars ish depending on the model you get this year is about 18.99 so it's still expensive for even just a pick alone you could get a whole like pack of picks, get 32 count of picks, like 12 or 32 pack count of picks for $18. But this is honestly the investment. I don't think this this will wear. If it does, it'll be probably just a very little wear. Um, especially for my type of playing style, I, I tend to pick really hard just because that's, I just tend to, I just pick hard for some reason. But yeah, definitely recommend, recommend these guys out. Uh, if you guys don't like it, you still get to say, I have, oh, I have a 9mm pick and just show off to all your friends who play with tiny these tiny picks. Um, going, been, I've been playing around with picks a lot lately, the past couple months, so I've been trying picks out. This is kind of definitely more up my alley, just for my style, but what I like to feel in my hands when playing, uh, at least with guitar. Um, I, I like thick picks anyway, so this is definitely gonna be where, it's, where I'm, I'm headed for sure. Definitely will be buying for these again. De 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 I'll be buying, definitely will be buying from these guys again. Um, I'll leave the link to their website in the description box below if you also want to follow them on Instagram. 
I will also leave their Instagram in the description box below. It's at Plexstrom. Just so I can say it now. Check these guys out. Give these guys definitely a try. I think this is definitely worth it. I was like, oh, I can't believe I dropped $18 on a pick. $18, $19 on a pick. Um, but I'm, I honestly, I don't regret this at all. It's going to be a really fun pick to play with once I get acclimated to this thick, thick huge motherfucker. Um, so yeah, these are just my first impressions of the pick. Uh, for those of you who you know are familiar or play with Purple Plectrums, let me know what you guys think in the description box below. I'll definitely, I'll be happy to have a discussion with you guys in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't done it already, um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit like if you guys definitely like these unboxings and tone kind of things. Um, and just kind of music discussions in general. I'll be doing a lot of different things, vlogs and stuff on this channel. Um, so definitely guys keep an eye out for more videos. Not just for unboxings, but a wide variety of different things. So please subscribe. See you guys next time. Rock on guys.